Welcome to this video regarding how to make a land use land cover map. To make a land use land cover map for any boundary, first we need to have either a shape file of that specific boundary or you have to create it. For the understanding purpose, I just created a shape file. Now I'm just interested to make the land use land cover map for this boundary. For that we need to go to the option of select feature and click on the boundary. Go to Zwendo, image analysis and enable this one and simply select the clip option. And that's it. So now we will make the land use land cover map for this clip boundary. Now if you see the attribute table, it is disabled because we don't have any further classes for this TIFF file. In order to have the land use and land cover classes, we must reclassify this TIFF file. For that, we need to go to the search and apply the command of reclassify. Select the required input raster. And it should be based on value. And we should click on the unique values. Here you can always find the description of any command that you are applying. And just copy the old values with the new values. And save the output raster file and click on OK. It will take some time to process the command, so be patient. Once you see this message, your command is operated and you can see the new result. Now if you go to the open attribute table, you will have the data, but we don't know which value is assigned to which class. In order to define which value is assigned to which class, we need to go to the Sentinel-2 land use land cover downloader in order to define that which land cover is assigned to which class. According to the definition in the portal, class 1 is assigned to water, 2 for trees, and so on. So based on this, we will assign each land use land cover class to a single value. In order to define the classes, we need to go to the properties. Here in the symbology, we can define the classes. Class 1 is assigned to water. Class 2 to trees. And you will do the same process for the remaining classes as well. 
It's better to give intuitive colors in order to reflect the lane cover class. Once you are satisfied with the colors, you just need to apply and click OK. It's always recommended to check with the base map in order to see the actual surface with the land use land cover classes that you just generated. For that, you just need to enable a base map. And let's suppose we zoom in into the water area. According to the land use land cover classes that we just created by using the ESRI land cover data, blue represents the water. Now let's check with the base map. So here in the base map, you can also see this area is covered by water, which is reflected in the land use land cover classes that we just created. Once you are satisfied with your data, then you need to calculate the area of the each class. For that, you need to go to the open attribute table and add a field. name of the field should be area in square kilometer to calculate the area we need to select on the area square kilometer column and click on the field calculator as we know that the resolution is 10 into 10 meters so we will multiply the number of counts multiply 10 divided by 1 million in order to convert to the square kilometer and we will click on OK. So this way you will get the area in square kilometer of the each land use land cover class.